Okay, so this morning I was out here checking on the animals and I noticed that our peacock, Bobby, if you guys are familiar with Bobby, he's a two-year-old peacock that we purchased a few weeks ago. Well, he was limping around the road and I thought maybe he stepped on a rock, like a sharp rock or something like that, um, something. Well, then I noticed a string was wrapped around his leg, so that could be it. Um, last night we tucked him in. You might say we come check on him every night. Um, he roosts right up there. He loves roosting up there, so he was fine. He had no strain, nothing on last night. He so. didn't limp around yesterday. No, at all. it wasn't limping around at all yesterday. This pig's limping around, but I think it's because it's so big. Um, yeah, he's, he's like my he's been knees hurt. I'm fat. These pigs are huge. You're going to the processor hurt. in a few weeks. And, uh, oh, buddy. Yeah, I think he can't hear. That's the one I think can't hear. That would make his equilibrium be off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I really, I really think that's what's wrong with him. He, he can't, lays he can't over hear. there and doesn't phase my these are some of the best pigs I've, I've ever raised as far as their um what they, what's that word not they're not they're kind of tame but there's a word for it um, demeanor yeah their demeanor is really really good um they're not aggressive whatsoever and, and they're big and healthy and they're big and, and healthy so all right hold this camera brandy and i'll try to catch him we're going to try to get this taken care of um he's liable to it he's liable to attack so we'll see well, i hope not and then once i catch him brandy we'll have to you'll have to come in and help me Come in here. Can you see good in there? Yeah, but Sue Jr. is in it. Vlogus. Any eggs? I already got one this morning. All right, here's some. Here's the of the oh, egg. there's an egg. I'm trying not to get poop on. I'm trying to see what. Have fun with that. Oh, I see the string. Oh, 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 oh! Hold on, hold on! Oh my gosh! I'm getting out of here! Just get it off of him. Yeah, like... Oh my! Huh? We gotta get out of here. Yeah, you I gotta can open, open it. Oh, uh, open it from the other side. Oh my gosh! Let me see the camera. How do I get out of here? Pull the door to leave Leave that open. Oh my gosh. She's leaving me here by myself. Here, come here, film this. They're all blocking me. Film this before he gets hurt. Okay, Bobby. Look at his leg. He cut me. It's okay, Bob. Oh, hold on. I was filming myself. <laughs> Can't get his leg over here. Huh? He what did you, a, ouch. He has a little, hold little. on. Hold on. Something's stuck in my hair. What did you get on it, sweetheart? He's got a little string around it. It's okay. Looks like maybe from a bag. Oh, it is. Like a feed bag. We always throw those away. No, this one escaped. Okay, sweetie. Look at his weird little feet. His foot's not bleeding, it's just tight. It's okay, Bob. Can you help? No. Oh. Oh, it's wrapped. Let me help. Oh, you need to cut it right there. Oh. Hold on. Oh, my. He's oh, gonna oh. get away. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Where's your knife? Oh, my God. I don't want to hurt his wings either. Oh. Bobby, you can hurt yourself. Oh, man, buddy. At least he's not pecking at me. We're trying to help you. I don't know how this video is because oh, man, he got all in it. That's why he's like that. Never had a never had one do this before. No. Well, and his feet are like any poultry, like a chicken or a turkey or. Be careful. You know you're trying to help him. He doesn't their, know that. Reaction oh, action. there we go, sweetie. Don't stab you or him. Look at his weird little scales. It's on that one too. All right, here, get out. I'm okay, hold on. hold on, sweetie. Stand back. Oh my goodness. You're gonna take off. Stand back, 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 back. Go, Bob. Bobby the peacock. Go, Bobby. Dude, he's kind, of he's kind of limping, but yeah, he'll, he's probably a little sore. You okay, Bob? That was not fun. Yes, he's fucking really good. around him. Bob, 
stop. Oh, he's looking at it. So when peacocks attack, he got me on my finger, but I'm okay. Important part is Bobby's okay. So he still got a little bit of a limp, but he had that string t uh, wrapped around it pretty tight. Probably gonna be sore for a few days. He was checking on it. Was he looking at it? And it's not like I said, it's not bleeding or anything. Yep. It was. I mean, it was tight where he couldn't get it off, but it wasn't like string yeah. bleeding. Yeah, and it's only been on there this morning because, like I said last night, he was getting around just fine. And uh, we'll keep an eye on him, but he's gonna he's gonna be good. You can see he's still limping though. Sorry, Bobby. That's got to feel better. Remember, we had a, the the ram a few years ago get that electrical wire wrapped around him. I had to cut it all off. Where was that? Yeah. I don't know where On his that. hoof. No, there's literally babies. It's a thing. There's been babies get a string on their toe or a hair on yeah, their toe. That's crazy. And if they have a sock on and parents don't know it, it's yeah. That's a bad deal. Anything gets wrapped around. Walk, Brandy. Walk this way and let's let him get out here. And walk a little bit. Mary was freaking out on you, wasn't she? Uh, yeah, that, I don't know what that looks like. I was getting flogged. <laughs> you okay, Bobby? You all right, Bob? Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't get poop all over me. Mary's known for that. Yep. There he goes. All right, that's He's good. He's walking better right there. Yeah. I had to get some yeah, for sure. He's probably losing his skunk, like Brandy said. I hate having to grab the chickens and Bobby and or Mary because they freak out. And you want, you a lot of times you want to do this at night. Uh, but something like this, you got to take care of it as soon as you see it. Um, at night, they're all in a daze and confused and they're, and they're roosting. Um, I wouldn't have got Bobby. Bobby always gets up there, so we had to do it right now. And there's a risk that you could injure a leg or a wing or even his neck. Um, you just you just never know. But it's a chance you have to take to take care of your animals. Which uh, was it? Both of them. Both of them had some string on them. One was one's obviously hurting them more than the other. But, he all right. To go back to his yeah, house. he's like, just leave me alone, and I'll be fine. Where'd you put the string? I got it in my pocket. Yeah, here's the string. I never would have guessed that he would have found a little piece of string and got it hung up all How over does him. That even happen? I don't know. This was actually um, when I take them out when I do the pigs. Sometimes I'll throw these little strings on the ground, but I can't do that yeah, now. Yeah. I didn't realize a chicken or turkey or peacock would actually get that hung up and actually well, could hurt them. Well, have you done that for seven or eight years and you've never had one wrapped Pretty on much. anyone? Pretty much. A lot of times I'll, a lot of times I'll still throw them away, but here recently I was like, well, I'm not a big deal. Well, I'm saying it's just a string. they yeah. be like kind of biodegradable, but. We'll have to be careful on that for sure. So we'll have to keep an eye on That's just weird, but we'll see you guys here in a minute. So we're gonna go get the hay cream. That's where they got a lot of us. We can do it. Young, just a boy, dreamed of falling in love with a girl like you. Through the years, I thought I found you, but nothing would do. Now here we are. Okay, girls, you get some. Oh, you got quite a bit. They got a little egg thing it's full. It's okay, current. So, have you were you out here yesterday and I fed a couple of them? No. So the pigs will actually eat these, and um, if I remember correctly, I think the the shell is actually a, a natural dewormer uh, for oh, the pigs. Is? Yeah, it's oh. supposed. To, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be natural and pumpkin seeds too. I think. Um, but Brandon, are you coming over here? I hold it. Look how full it is. 
Yeah, that's a good job. So we got a lot of hickory nut, nuts, and I actually just seen them there. Then I was like, you know what? I know that pigs would eat these. And they eat the shell first, obviously, but then they crunch down on the nut itself because the nut's really, really hard. I to crack it open. They, they'll eat them also. Let's go in for find them. Hey, Let's go. What, babe? Hey, bend my hair. Look at him. Put, hey, put it over there. Put them over here so they can fall in the water. Crap okay. it. Okay. You want one of these? Oh, just got, got me all muddy. What did I put that? Hold on. Well, no, don't do that because I won't find them, girls. Just wait a minute. We'll make a pile. Okay. Hey, just come in here. Just pour it. Just pour the bucket. Where'd I go? Put it in a pile right here, and I'll get these other pigs. Don't cut it. Oh, he found them. Right here. I'll, get, I'll collect some more. Okay. They'll find them. Oh, he's like, I'm gonna hurry. <gasps> Whoa, he's like, get out of here. Oh, he's gonna get out. So they have a natural food source. If they're in the wild, they would obviously be foraging for all this. They like those. Huh? They like those. those crunch I want to see you crunch one with your mouth. Yeah, right. They'd break all Here your teeth. It's crazy. Listen to them. Hey. They're like, we like pizza and marshmallows and stuff too, but these nuts will do. Hi, Hadley. Hi. Is that good, boys? They're actually fighting over them. <laughs> While they're eating those, let's walk over and check on Bobby. It's been several hours since we got the string off of him. Um, we'll have Brandy hunt him down and see if we can find him and see if he's still limping. No, I see blue, but that's the, the, the see him. premier one thing. So we lost Bobby now? No, he was just here. And he was limping a little bit. He was? Yeah. There's Mary. I know, he's usually with Brandy. Mary's got big. Mary, you've gotten a lot bigger. One time when I was sitting on the couch, he, Bobby was looking at me. Really? Out the window. Oh, did you get more? Yeah. Have you seen? Oh, here he is. Oh, he's in there. You know, where did he go? Oh, well, when he walks fast, you don't notice as much. We got seven right He's running. Dead. Hold on, babe. We found him. He's running from us. See him? Where's he going? What'd you get? I got some more. Give it to the pigs. You get another little feather? No, ma'am. Come on, Gracie. Come on, Gabby. They're hunting for eggs. But Gabby and Gracie them. are hunting for eggs. They already got them. Hopey, can you believe they're eating all them hickory nuts? Huh? If we ate one, well, it'll break our I know. They're called jawbreakers. These are the natural jawbreakers. They like them. Yeah, they love them. Are they like sweet? They're probably bitter. Okay, we're going to walk up to the camper and we're going to show you guys. We got some uh, straw bells. We're going to kind of start winterizing things around here. Um, we have some colder weather that's rolled in over the last week. Nothing serious as far as uh, frost, but it's going to come on, on quick. Um, so we'll come up here and I'll show you what our plan is. Um, driving around over the last several years, we have a couple um, trailer parks around our old house and uh, where, camp where campers stay at and they kind of stay like year round. Um, well, I've seen a lot of them put straw bells up around it, um, kind of like siding, um, but I, I thought that was a really good idea. And I think the straw bells are like six bucks a piece. Um, so it's going to cost us a few hundred dollars to do it. Um, but if you ever price actual siding, pretty, pretty expensive. Um, so here's the idea. We're going to get a couple and we'll show you. We'll show you. I'll show you what the idea is of it. We're going to put it around the camper? Yeah, we're going to put the like. straw bells like around. I think it's going to take two per, hopefully. No we, more. Me and Mom moved those yeah. over there. You did? You guys cleaned it up. Looks good. So we actually got a lot of stuff piled up here. We're gonna move this. Brandy cleaned the back of the car out. Uh, so I'll move some stuff. We'll put some straw bells up and uh, show you exactly what I'm wanting to do.
basically all the way around at least facing this um, actually the north would be on the other side uh, I at least want to do the whole north side I like to do the whole thing we're just gonna get some more straw bells did you get the idea though yeah the only thing too we're gonna kind of work on our storage because we have been able to store a few tubs under yeah. there and we don't want to have to like move straw bells oh, for sure. get, so and you've those been cleaning. Kind of you've been cleaning up quite a bit. You guys can tell yeah, uh, from other videos. Things. We had a lot of stuff that she said stored out here, because um, we just don't have a lot. We have that one storage unit. We're working on getting another one. Yeah, or I might be able to move some things that we're not going to use at all into that. Is that oh, trailer yeah. open? Well, it will be after we take the pigs to the processor in a few weeks. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's the basic. That's what. That's what I've seen other people do. And their a lot of their trailers are a little bit lower, and they just used one. I was like, um, that's a good height because two of them it doesn't quite go all the way to the top but it covers that lip yeah part yeah it works yeah. out pretty good um so hopefully th this it's higher because we had to get a level and all that um this pad wasn't the levelest but we got it level um so it's gonna take we got 20 it's probably gonna take 20 all the way to the front here and we'll have to get some more brandy uh, hey we might be able to use these in the spring hey, was that for a seating for yeah, our uh, expo. Hay, no or yes and hay bell um, people use straw bell um, gardens. You ever seen those? Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they ever use hay, so but I know a lot of people the use. So spring, we can, can use, use them for yeah our chicken coops for gardening or to people to sit on it. That's yeah, that will come in handy. What, babe? What What is it for? It's to keep the cold air from going underneath the trailer, and it keeps you able to, the, to warm the trailer better, so there's not a lot of airflow going back and forth. Okay, so I'll put a couple more up here. I'll probably put some right there, Brandy, where the shoes and stuff are at. Did you tell them too. we're going to probably have some coming videos of prepping for winter? Yeah, no, I didn't. You can tell them. You've been looking a lot of stuff up. Well, just some things we maybe didn't think of or some things we've learned. And then we could, of course, have comments about things you guys have used. Yep. When you make a video, like the top five things we wish we would have known before moving into a camper. Five? Four, 10, 20? Yeah. <laughs> going to be all right. I'm yours, your man. I love is once in a lifetime. We're gonna be alright, even on the line. Cause our love is once in a lifetime. Alright Brandon, you eat down sweep and go make us some sandwiches, please. We're going to check out one of the <laughs> I know. I'm, that was a joke, guys. Some of you are gonna take offense to that. I'm just joking. But really, I need a sandwich. No, I'm sure. Anyways, uh, so this is pretty much all we've got going on today. Um, we got several projects obviously that we need to get going, um, finished, working on whatever. The warehouse is, I got like two more boards and that'll be done as far as until I make the doors. Um, but we did something really big today. Um, Brandon, come over here. Oh, I didn't know if No, we'll tell them in this video. I'm sweet, buddy. Come here. Okay, Ow. So we did something really big today. Um, this is what we've been waiting on. You guys have not seen any action over there on the house. This is what we've been waiting on. Waiting on our lumber, like... Package. Quote. Quote, yeah. Like, we can't just come up with, like, hey, we need exactly these many boards. I mean, I guess you could. Yeah. But you just kind of wait for the lumber company to give us a quote of the package that they would sell us from top to bottom. Yep. How, like, what everything to buy. So we went over today, and we're, we're doing stages because um, financial reasons. So the first stage, we just purchased the lumber for, for the, the frame. framing. Not for the, we got to actually use rafters on the house. So we got rafters, trusses. trusses on the house. So we have to order those in the next probably, probably week or two. Um, we'll just kind of see. Um, well, and I feel like too, if they can get them pretty quickly, like a two -week, there's two -week no list. rush to have them out no, here not all, just be right. sitting in the elements. Yeah, she's right. So if like, it's different, like windows, we did have to order them because it's 11 weeks. Mm -hmm. Like this, we ordered today, they're gonna bring them Thursday. So there's no reason to order some if it's gonna just sit out in the elements yeah. for days or weeks. Yeah, so today's Tuesday. You guys will probably see us on Thursday. So oh, when you guys okay. see so this, um, we'll ha hopefully we'll have uh, lumber um, ready to go. And uh, so we have some other things lined out and we'll be framing, I think we're probably gonna start the framing next week. Um, so that's one thing we went over there 
Brandy said, can you just call him and order it? Well, you can, but you've seen why I wanted to go yeah, in, right? Yeah, because he looked, he just looked like line by line of certain things that like, hey, we probably don't actually need this item. And the guy kind of agreed, so they would take some off. But we also see why it takes a long time. They had hundreds of house plans like rolled yeah. up rubber banded together or whatever like hundreds they got like, like three a ton. they got like three people working on them and mm -hmm. like she said there's hundreds of them in the office and there might be some that have kind of put on hold after the prices had went up like i probably would have yeah. done that so there might be some that they're kind of behind on that people said let's just hold off yeah you know so we went in there and i and there's there are several things on the list i knew we, like she said uh, we didn't need um for instance we're doing the um zip board that you've seen us on the, the well house the green board with the zip tape and all that well they had actually put housing wrap like we had on the on which the they cabin. just go with like the standard here's all the items you well, need no that that's something that like there's a uh, they should know that part. it's not a big well, deal that's true they yeah. should know if you're getting the zip board just spend extra money on that you don't need the you house need that. that's yeah. the whole reason why we're doing that not a big deal at all yeah but it's little stuff like that we had to go in there and catch yeah. um or if we would have got it worst case we can return yeah. anything that we haven't used or damaged yep so, so we asked them that anything we don't use yeah like she said, as long as it's not damaged nails in it you can return it no big deal they're actually going to deliver it out here to us um and bring it hope we'll figure out where we want to put everything yeah. but we'll film that process um so yeah we we bought the wood to the lumber to start the actual framing and then like i said earlier in a couple week or two we're actually gonna at least put the um trusses on order or at least when we think that we yeah. know we're gonna and get even it even if it might take a little bit we order and pay for them we might even say hey but we don't need them delivered quite yeah. yet just hang on to them for so us so that's one thing like i'm not comfortable doing is the trusses me and brandy obviously like and they're, they're yeah they're really they're really big they're gonna be really long um so i'm going to try we don't to need to be injured <laughs> i'm going to try to find uh, i'm going to find someone a crew that can actually install that and probably put the the, the um the board down top of the roof for us and all that um, so at least we can get that done and then we can work on the other stuff and the sooner we get all that done we can start working on the inside yeah you know we can get and our masonry once heater out it's here. um what do you say like with the well house dried, dried in. in then we can order more things yeah. as we want to spend because we can just have them like we just went and checked out my niece and nephew's house they're building and they have like their drywall it was already in there like, or sh what was it? sheet rock the sheet rock like they had piles of it in each room where it goes just because their house is dried in and it doesn't matter yeah. if it rains or whatever yep and it's there ready to go so when the electricians are done and and they get the insulation done yeah, and the drywall people can go in there and start drywalling so yeah i think that's real they got there a little early but it's better there early than yeah, not there at yeah. all then sitting there waiting for a week for yep. something to show up so you got be patient with this you guys will see family vlogs until we get start building on the house um but we've never in, uh, intended this channel to be just a building channel no, no. this is a family channel um, we film what we're doing um most of the time um we're building well houses little cabins i mean and it, that's it is what why, it is. and it does i i do kind of like to stay on task more so than i think you do but i realize sometimes there's times when it does make more sense to jump from project to project yeah. based on what the weather is or what time we have like right now we had a few minutes let's go ahead and do these straw bells versus start on the well house yeah like yeah. as time allows and weather that's when we'll do yeah for sure project. and like brandy said i I've, i'm pretty bad jump from project to project but it's uh, it is what it is that's just how i operate some people i don't so much what's ocd some people have to get it done right then and on there yeah. once we start the house obviously that's our main focus yeah. is the house um the the well house is going to get insulated pretty soon because colder weather is going to be coming in well, that's very and important too, even though the well house and kind of like the tiny house aren't complete they're now where we can store things yep. in them we got so our, they've reached to a point where they're usable and then we can just continue to develop them as time allows yeah. yep so uh, me and Brandy been married what 14 years? It's been 14 years. Yep. So she knows how to operate on projects. Sometimes it might drive the her a little crazy. The opposite of me. <laughs> it is what it is, though. I mean, we're doing all this stuff ourselves, as far as the cabin and in the well house and little things like that. And uh, it's coming along. The, the home well, doesn't come along. And two, we just are going to have to, since we'll be working together a lot, we just have to know that a bit about each other. That he's going to do something one way. I'm going to do it the opposite, and let's compromise in the middle. Or we're gonna go crazy. compromise on my way <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah we'll see how we'll see how it goes but for Just sure leave comes and then we'll choose who which way is the right way. <laughs> exactly you guys I hope you side with me but anyway, anyways um, the building is going to can, is going to start next week yeah weather permitting I haven't looked at the weather next week hopefully it's like this I don't week know. It's really, yeah really this nice. would be perfect where there's no rain but there's a little breeze and yep. it's not yesterday felt like summer yeah it was all yeah. over again it was nice um, so with all that being said we have some things in the project this weekend that we'll be sharing with you guys next week and then the house build will start 
Um, you got anything else? Oh, Oki Homesteading. We put yeah, an update on the out. on the Oki Homesteading channel. Um, Brandy went over a bunch of questions. Just that kind people of had. questions and concerns, comments, whatever. We still have um, about half the tickets available for day two. Day one sold out and unlimited on day three. And we've sold a lot. We sold a bunch. Those. We've sold over 400 tickets total. I think is what Kevin said. Yeah. Um, so we're it's doing really really well. And that's not counting kids because kids are free. Um, so 400 adults have purchased tickets. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can all be bringing. Couple, yeah, a lot of, of them will be bring kids, and uh, we can be more more happy about um, how the sales are going. Yeah, gives us a really good idea how many people are going to show up, so we can prepare, like you said in the yeah. video for. Um, like all I those. talked on the video, like we're really concerned about parking, bathrooms, and food, and we're going to be at a good spot unless we just sell a ton more tickets, and then we'll just plan for that and get yeah. more trucks or more bathrooms or whatever so things are coming along nicely go check out that video i'll put an i card up or down in the description you guys go check it out see the updates we got if you are interested in coming tickets are still on sale for 15 dollars for day three but we will be cutting those off eventually at some point at some yeah. point where you can only get them at the gate and they'll be 20 dollars. so you save five bucks um, by getting them but anyway that's all we got for you today hope you guys enjoyed today's video what should they do smash the like button smash subscribe and turn that notification bell like how always says we love you guys thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next video